Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video, and today I am reacting to a gameplay in which somebody in the Retro Bowl community scored 96 points in a game. Now, I'm in a Retro Bowl Dynasty League. I haven't posted anything about it yet, but I'm hoping to have some highlight videos from my games in that now that there's multiple save files in the game. One of the other owners in the league who actually won the championship for our league in the first season owns the Chargers. He put up 96 points with his team once, and then it looks like he's playing his Dallas on another save file, and he put up 96 points again. He was talking about it in the league chat. I said, hey, you should post that to YouTube. He said he didn't want to, but he was willing to post the full video somewhere. I said, well, would you be okay if I you know, commentate over it, react to it, respond to it. He's totally fine with it, so shout out to him. Uh, again, he owns the Chargers in the Dynasty League. I'll put a link to his Twitter account in the description for the Dynasty League. Be sure to follow that. You can follow mine as well if you want. If there's anything else he wants plugged, I'll put that in the description as well. Anyways, I'm going to start playing this video here. He gets into the gameplay right away. So Pittsburgh fumbles. That's going to be huge, getting a lot of turnovers. Then he throws a deep streak. Sutton just goes up and mosses the defender and gets a touchdown. So 45 seconds in, he's forced a turnover and gotten eight points to make it 8 nothing. Then Pittsburgh throws an interception. So just over a minute into the game, he hits Sutton again on the streak for a 25-yard touchdown. A minute and 13 seconds in, it is 16 to nothing. So it looks like he's just going all out on the streak. Pittsburgh actually had to punt there. He's gone back to the streak again. He's got the man beat that time to Luke. And it's 22 nothing with over a minute left in the first quarter. He's going for two again. Short little pass to Sutton. I've made that pass myself before. It's 24 nothing. Pittsburgh, they punt 50 seconds left in the first quarter. There's the streak again. I wonder if he'll make it to the end zone this time. I feel like he could get tackled short. Yeah, he's going to get tackled short. Down just inside the 10. 29 seconds left in the first quarter, though. He's hitting the tight end. I like that read. He did a nice little strafe in. That's a little more advanced than what my gameplay has been, but a brilliant play makes it 32 nothing. still in the first quarter. Pittsburgh gets the ball. They're driving. They hit a field goal, so it's 32-3. to The Cowboys back on offense. He hits Sutton. Strace with Sutton to get around the defensive back. 26 yards. And a first down. I'm guessing he gets a touchdown on this play. Quick out to the receiver. Little strafe. And yeah, that's the touchdown that I was predicting. Makes it 38-3. And to the tight end. I love that read. Makes it 40-3. Two minutes left in the second quarter. A punt. Gets Dallas the ball back. And wow. That was a bit gutsy, but it worked out. He hits Sutton. On the in route, all the way across, 27 yards, down just inside the 10. He's going to hit the tight end, LeBlanc, down just outside the 1, first and goal. Yeah, he's going to the running back. I like that read. That makes it 46-3. He's going for 2, hitting the tight end to make it 48-3 with a minute left in the half. Pittsburgh, they punt again. Eight seconds left, and he's going for it all. And the man missed, so he's going to have over 50 points at the half. Yep, 39-yard touchdown makes it 54-3. He's going for two. That's how you do it in this game, and it's 56-3 to at the half. The most impressive thing to me is how consistently he's hitting the streaks open over the top with the new update where it seems like the defense likes to play conservatively. Then he starts with the ball in the second half. He's going to the streak, just misfired it. 
That happens to all of us. He'll hit the comebacker to Luke. Luke, couple strafes. That was really, really nice strafing. Makes it 62-3. to He's going to go for two and get it, of course, to make it 64-3. to Pittsburgh gets the ball. They punt. So it's 64-3. to Dallas back on offense. It's tipped. It's caught by Sutton. He breaks loose. I don't know if he'll get the touchdown here. I don't have his stats to predict it as well as I can my own team. Nope, he dives down after a gain of 49. That's a smart play around the 7. Because that's the thing, too. Your players can get tired, and they can turn the ball over. He gets the touchdown to Luke at 70-3. to Hits Luke for 2. It's 72-3 to with 4 minutes left in the game. Pittsburgh driving. They make a field goal to make it 72-6. to We're in the fourth quarter. He's at 72, so a bit of a low-scoring third quarter. Probably prevented him from getting 100, but Luke first play, 42-yard touchdown, makes it 78-6. to He's going for two. He got it. It's 80-6. to And Pittsburgh, they punt. Cowboys back on the other side of midfield. He's going to hit the comeback route. Yep, he hits the strafe. He's a very good strafer. That's something that, for me to truly be elite at this game, I need to work on. He steps out of bounds. I don't think that was intentional, but it was smart. And then the eight-yard touchdown to his tight end, LeBlanc, makes it 86-6. to He hits Sutton to make it 88-6. Pittsburgh gets the ball. They're driving. They're in the red zone. They go for the field goal. They get it. It's 88-9. to 10 seconds left. He's going to go for it. Yep, not surprising. He burns his audible, or at least one of his audibles, to get the streak route. That's exactly what I was expecting. Hits the comeback route. A little bit of a lucky stiff arm, probably. But also, I'm sure he knew the skill level of the defense, and that's a touchdown to end the game. It's 94-9. to And then one last two-point conversion. I think he's taking a second to gather himself and realize that as long as he gets this, he's putting up 96, which is the highest score I've ever seen someone score themselves. It's a very, very impressive. Congratulations to you, Retro Chargers, on the 96 points for a second time. Big shout out once again for recording the whole game and sharing the footage. I'm going to go back. I'm going to... C or here he's going through the sets 490 and 12 touchdowns two touchdowns for the tight end you can see the stats he has some good wide receivers at least speed wise and yet I mean you can see his team it's a decent team for year three but it's nothing superhuman he just went out and put up 96 points I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Retro Bowl content. Oh, he went 16 ties in Season 2. I'm trying the 16 ties challenge myself on another save. You'll probably see a video on that at some point. But like I was saying, make sure you're subscribed for more Retro Bowl content. I have daily uploads of my Miami Dolphins rebuild. I hope to do more videos featuring challenges with the multiple saves. If anyone has crazy footage like this that they want me to, you know, upload to my channel, let me know. We'll work something out for sure. One more time, thanks to the Retro Bowl Chargers for sharing this footage. That's going to do it for this video, though, guys. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.